AITA for saying that I was hurt that I wasn't invited to a wedding that all my old friends were invited to. I, 28M, used to have a friend group of about 10 people back when we were in middle and high school then college happened and we all drifted apart. Nothing happened to make us drift apart, just growing up and losing contact. Still friends but not talk all the time. Hang out regularly, friends if that makes sense. But of course some of us stayed close friends with each other. One person from this friend group Kayla, 28F, is getting married in a few weeks. I didn't get an invitation but I wasn't hurt. I understood. We didn't stay close friends. But then I was hanging out with my best friend, Bob. 28M, who was also in that friend group, a few days ago and he mentioned that he's going to the wedding. I was a little surprised but I just told him I hoped he had a good time. He asked if I was going and I told him no, I didn't get an invite. He said that was strange because everyone else from the group was going. Two of them were plus ones as they were dating or married to other ones who got an invite. But they were all going and Kayla knew it and even told Bob she was really happy that the gang was getting back together on her special day. I told Bob I was kinda hurt by that but I didn't want to make a big deal of it. Two days pass. Kayla calls me fuming mad that I was whining that I didn't get an invite to anyone who would listen. I told her that I wasn't. I explained to her what happened. She said that she's been getting texts and calls from other members of the group, saying that she should have included me and wanted me to put a stop to it. I said I would do my best and that I was sorry that I caused her this trouble. She thanked me for the apology and hung up. I called Bob and asked him why he spread this around and he said that he didn't mean to. He felt bad, that I was hurt and he wanted to ask someone else from the group. If they knew why I wasn't invited and she spread it around I guess, and everyone wanted to know why Kayla cut me out specifically so they started asking her. So I made a Facebook group chat with all of them and politely asked them to leave Kayla alone. That I was just hurt in the moment and vented about it to my best friend and that's where it should have stayed. They all said okay and apologized to Kayla. Yesterday Kayla made a Facebook post ranting about me without saying my name and said she had to hire security and give them a photo of me to make sure I didn't try to crash the wedding. Something I would never do. The comments under the post were calling her out. She called me again and screamed at me that I was ruining her wedding. And told me that some of the friends are considering not going to the wedding now. And now I'm just wondering if I should have just kept my mouth shut or stood up for myself or what, edit, next day, I'm bi, I have no knowledge of Kayla ever having a crush on me, I don't know if her fiancé is gay or bi, I never dated Kayla, I dated someone else from the group back in high school into college, but the relationship ended amicably and I'm still, good friends with her. The only notable event that might have made things weird is that we all went skinny dipping once, when we were. 16 but nothing else really happened there and as far as I know, nobody was creeped out or anything by it. There was no big political shift in any of us that may have divided us. Relevant comments, was she always this unhinged, not that I remember. She was a little intense sometimes. But never this kind of crazy, why did you apologize, she was very mad on the phone, I was surprised that she found out about a private conversation I had in my backyard, and I felt bad that the others were asking her why I wasn't invited so much that she felt the need to call me. If I did it again after she made the FB post and then called to yell at me again. I probably wouldn't have apologized but hindsight is 20 20ths, is it a race or sexuality thing, most of us are white, two Asians and a Hispanic person. But Kayla and I are white. So I don't think it's that. There are others in the group that are gay or bi for sure. Three of them out and one that's still in the closet but has told me. I don't know who else they've told though, you don't know what your other friends may have said to her, you're right. I don't know what they were saying to her. They said they were just asking her why I wasn't invited while the rest of them were but I just took their word for it. They may have been rude or badgered her or who knows what else. And you're also right that it's within her right to not invite me. Of course. I didn't mean to stir any drama at all with any of this. I was just sitting outside with my best friend having some drinks and I admitted I was hurt that everyone but me was invited. And that's all I expected it to be. Just two friends talking. But then this whole thing spiraled into a shitstorm that I didn't intend in my wildest dreams. Update 1, I finally got an answer to why I wasn't invited to the wedding. Turns out that someone else from the group named Samantha has had a crush on me for years, but has been too afraid to tell me or act on it. Samantha was in the bridal party of Kayla's wedding, and told Kayla that she was finally going to make a move on me at the wedding. After all her bridal party duties were taken care of. Kayla didn't like this and thinks that I'm not good enough for Samantha, but she didn't say anything and decided to just not invite me and hope Samantha dropped it. But when Samantha heard about me not being invited, she could smell the BS and confronted Kayla, knowing exactly why I wasn't invited and said she wasn't sure she wanted to be in the bridal party after Kayla would do something like this to her. That's when Kayla called me and flipped out the first time. After the group chat where I asked them to stop, Samantha was so upset that she did drop out of the bridal party and that prompted the second phone call blow up to me. Samantha called me this afternoon and told me all this, apologized for all the BS and asked me out for dinner on the night of the wedding and I accepted. This might seem petty to go out on the night of the wedding but it was Samantha's idea and also Kayla is bats it crazy and her number and social media is blocked so I can't get any more calls if she blows up a third time, update 2, 
the wedding and my date with Sam is next weekend so expect the big update after that. Sam is considering slash joking, not sure which, that she's going to wear her bridesmaid dress to the date because she loves the color. She already paid for it and, my tits look fantastic in it. I'm a little worried that's too, shoving it in Kayla's face, but Sam says she deserves it. I also asked Sam if she would be willing to write her own POV here, and she said she would love to and that she will after our date when we go back to my place. Also Kayla actually sent me a letter in the mail, apologizing and asking to unblock her so we can talk about this and, heal the loose ends. I didn't unblock her. Sam is completely certain that she's only trying to apologize, so that he'll tell the other four friends who have dropped out of the wedding to attend it, update 3. Wedding and my date was Saturday. It went very well and Sam spent the night and all day Sunday with me. Out of the 10 people that were in that friend group four went to the wedding. Kayla, of course, one that is Kayla's cousin but still sides with me, her partner, and another whose mom is best friend with Kayla's mom, and, would absolutely kill me if I didn't go, despite all this BS. Sam has Kayla blocked on everything, but Kayla has sent her three written letters trying to convince her to reconsider dropping out of the wedding. And shown up at Kayla's house twice to try in person. Sam burned all three letters and didn't answer the door both times, but told Kayla through the door the second time that if she didn't go away, Sam would call the cops. Kayla called her an ungrateful skank and ran away. While the wedding was going on, the three friends at the wedding were leaking info Sam and I in a group chat. Kayla replaced Sam in the wedding party with another cousin in a dress that didn't match the others. Kayla seemed happy throughout the wedding and honestly, despite all this, I'm happy that she was happy at her wedding, or at least pretended to be happy, as Sam said she might be doing. No big drama or blow up or anything happened at the wedding. And Kayla and her husband are off to a honeymoon in Hawaii. Which I don't know how well that's going to go with the wildfires going on there right now, now to the date, it went very very well. We met up at a Korean barbecue place that I said was good, and we just had a great time talking about the past, how long she's had a crush on me, since middle school, talking about the Kayla situation, and just all sorts of stuff. Afterwards we went back to my place and spent the night together and all day the next day, she read these Reddit posts. Samantha's POV, hi Reddit. I'm, Sam. He never gave himself a fake name so I'll call him, Skipper. I've had a crush on Skipper since about 6th grade, but never acted on it for various reasons such as my fear of rejection, he was dating my friend for a while, I thought he was gay things like that. But when Kayla was getting married I saw an opportunity to finally go for it. Then I got my bridesmaid dress and saw how incredible I looked in it, and that solidified my drive to make a move on Skipper. I was so excited that I told Kayla about all this and she smiled and said she was happy for me. I took that to mean she was cool with it. Then some time passes, and I get word from one of our friends that Skipper was not invited and I was suspicious right away. Kayla was one of my best friends growing up and I love her, but she's always had this underhanded side to her, and I suspected that my plan was the reason Skipper wasn't invited so I asked her about it. She tried to dodge the question and manipulate me, but finally she just admitted it and told me that Skipper wasn't good enough for me. I was furious and told her I was extremely hurt that she would do something like this to me, and that I wasn't sure I wanted to be her bridesmaid anymore. She screamed at me and hung up. Later I was added to a group chat with the other members of the group, and Skipper asked us all to drop whatever we were saying to Kayla. And I just knew that Kayla had bitched him out about this, but I wanted to respect what Skipper was asking us to do and keep the peace so I kept my mouth shut. But then Kayla made that Facebook post, and I was so upset that I called her and dropped out of the wedding. I understand that's when she called Skipper and screamed at him the second time. A day or two passes and I call Skipper and tell him what happened and ask him out. He says yes, Kayla harasses me for a while in text, calls, letters, and showing up at my house until I block her on everything and threaten to call the cops on her. The date went amazingly well, and Skipper is an amazing man that I'm so glad I finally asked him out. I read some of your comments, and I don't know if Kayla was trying to set me up with someone else. She never said so or alluded to it. I don't think Kayla has a crush on me or Skipper, we were close friends for decades now and she never said anything to indicate that. And finally some of you asked me to post a photo of myself in the dress. I'm not comfortable doing that. I look amazing in it but I'm just not comfortable posting photos of myself. All over the internet especially connected to a story like this where it would be easy to connect the dots, and probably find out my real name and things like that. But thanks to everyone that told Skipper he wasn't an a-hole, and cheered him on once they found out that I exist and that I was the drama nexus. And as many of you said, I promise that if this relationship goes well and we end up getting married, Kayla will be as far from it as humanly possible. 